Next up are J and L cuts, also known as split edits. A J and L cut is when the video and audio start or end at a different time. The name comes from the shape that the clip makes when you look at it on the timeline. In a J cut, the audio starts before the video, and in an inverted J, the audio starts after the video. Looking at the end of the clip, an L cut is when the audio ends after the video, and an inverted L is when it ends before. Let's take a look at how to do these in LumaFusion. Before I get into making those edits, I wanna point something out about these clips on the timeline. Notice that for every clip, you can see the audio waveform on the clip itself. This tells you that that clip is both video and audio. And also notice on that clip a white line running down the length of it. That white line indicates the audio levels. We'll get into this in more detail in another video, but I wanna quickly show you what happens if I change the audio levels on this clip. I'll double tap on it to open it into the video editor. And down here over the waveform, you see that same white line. On the right-hand side, if I take the volume and I move that up or down, you'll see that white line move. So if I take my volume all the way down to effectively infinite zero, you'll see that the white line is all the way at the bottom. If I bring this back up to its default of zero, then that white line goes back to where it was. Now, knowing that, if I go back to the timeline, once again, when you see that white line on there, that indicates the audio levels. This is important to understand because when I show you the next step, you'll see that when I remove the audio, I'm not actually removing it. The audio is still attached to the video, it's just been silenced. Let me show you. Let's say that I wanna change the duration of the audio for this clip here. With it selected, I'll tap the Detach Audio button and the audio is detached underneath it. Look at that blue clip again though. Look at how the waveform is still visible, but the white line is all the way down at the bottom. This again tells me that that clip has been silenced, but it actually still has the audio attached to it. Back to the editing. Now that the audio is detached from the video, I can change the duration of it however I like. So if I make this a little bit longer like so, I've just created an L cut. The audio ends after the video. If I move it this way, the audio now ends before the video and that's an inverted L. I can also adjust the video duration. If I tap on the clip to select the video and now adjust the end point on that, you'll see that I've created a J cut for this as well. Now the audio is beginning before the video begins and the audio is also ending before the video ends. In practical uses, if you're doing this, you're probably also adjusting the audio duration of the clips before or after it. Let's take a look at that. I'll adjust this next clip to fill in that gap in the audio that I've just left behind. Instead of tapping on the Detach Audio button, this time I'll simply triple tap on the clip itself, which does the same thing. Now I can go ahead and move the end point for this audio, closing up that gap. I might also choose to overlap them to blend the clips together. To do that, I would drag this clip down to another track and then adjust the duration of that. And now they're overlapping. I would then probably fade that in and out by adding a transition. Mastering editing techniques like this can make the difference between a good video and a great video. Getting those audio clips to blend together perfectly as you go from shot to shot can make all the difference in your project.